a super exciting one for y'all today. We got myself and we got my puppy, Kevin. Kevin, what are you doing? You sleeping? This episode's probably going to make a lot of y'all pretty pumped up because a lot of you guys have been asking me to bring Kevin fishing. Not sure if the title and thumbnail says it down below, but myself and Kevin are on our way to JR's Corner. And we're not targeting walleyes in this episode. We are targeting crappies, which is pretty dope and a pretty big deal for Odon Red Lake. Crappies on Red Lake is like almost like not that heard of, but apparently uh, the homies at JR's Corner have been getting into a few every night. So, uh, yeah, cross your fingers. Hopefully we can get into some crappies. I'm sure we'll probably catch, like, the occasional walleye, too. But, yeah, basically targeting crappies in today's episode. Stay tuned. We'll probably, uh, most likely just see you once we get out on the ice or something. It ain't all about money for me, though. I do this for the people need to boost that ego. We have arrived to the famous JR's Corner. How excited are you, Kevin? We have made her on the ice, y'all. Myself and Kevin have like probably a 45 minute drive across the ice right now. We got a long ways to go. Um, Looks like we have to drive about 10 miles and then we're gonna wait for a fellow JR's corner homie. And yeah, he's gonna show us to our fish house and we will probably just see you once we're in the fish house. Me first. Shit. Damn it. I was supposed to turn there. Done. All right, sounds good. We have met up with fellow JR's corner homie. Next stop, myself and Kevin's home for the next, I don't know, 24 hours. 24 hours! Solo, stranded, eat what you catch, fish or die. Come on, we're finally here. Hey, Kevin, we gotta go this way. Kevin is just going crazy. Where are we? Are we on a lake? Kevin, you wanna go inside? I was just inside here already, y'all. This house is sick. I don't think I've been in this one before. This is one of JR's older fish houses because uh, we couldn't go in the brand new fish houses this time because I have Kevin with. Um, you guys are probably wondering why I never bring Kevin out like on these camping trips with me. That's because a lot of resorts and a lot of like uh, guide services, like they don't allow dogs or pets because of people with like allergies and stuff. And Kevin happens to shed like super bad. And I did bring a big blanket that I'm gonna put on my bunk so that she doesn't get hair everywhere. But yeah, that's why I like never Ever bring Kevin on fishing trips like this because they usually don't allow dogs. But anyways, this fish house is freaking dope. Don't I don't think I need to give you a tour. Kevin, don't fall in a hole, okay? She is just sniffing this place out. She's like, what the heck's going on here? Anyways, stay tuned, y'all. I'm going to uh load up everything in this fish house. And yeah. It's gonna be a good time. Come on, Kevin. Let's get all of our stuff. Check this out, y'all. I got this sick new charging bank that I'm pumped to use. I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit more about it too in just a second here. We got the fish house all set up to how I want it. Basically just got all my stuff chilling right here on this bunk. Got my bed set up here. Right, me and Kevin's bed. Sorry, Kevin, I forgot about you. This is where we're gonna be hanging out basically the whole time fishing out of this hole. Found a sweet little table underneath the bunk. This is gonna come into handy. Oh, here is awesome to have. Kevin, you wanna jump up here? Yeah, okay, get off. Over here is the kitchen part of this fish house. Just got a little stove top. Got all my stuff down here and all my cooking utensils are actually over there right now. But anyways, y'all, before we start this video, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this sweet little thing here. Hey there, Kevin. Hey. Right. Today's episode, y'all, is sponsored by Lifely. Right off the bat, y'all, I want to give the biggest shout out to Lifely for sponsoring this video. This little power bank thing here, that, that's what this is. It's a little power bank. This thing is just going to be coming into handy all winter long and all summer long and just pretty much every time I go fishing or camping or road trips, this, this thing is just handy everywhere we go. As you can see right here, this is the B600 power bank by Lifely. Uh, 
It's pretty small, very lightweight. Right off the bat, I'm gonna show you my absolute favorite part about this product. Let me just turn it on real quick. As you can see on the top here, it has this big outlined area right here. Grab my phone really quick. All you have to do, y'all, like I don't have any special phone case or nothing. All you have to do with this power bank to charge your phone is literally just set it there. Look at that. How cool is that? Don't have to worry about no cords or nothing. Uh, I'm pretty sure it works with every cell phone, so it's not just like an iPhone thing. On this side here, we got two AC ports, so I can literally like charge anything. My Like my electric fillet knife, I could charge my laptop, just basically anything. Right here, we got two USB-A ports, and then right next to it, we got a fast charging USB-C port. Right here, we got one car charging port. Oh, oh. Okay, pause the interrogation. Oh boy, oh boy. Got him? What is it? Please be a crappie. Please. Oh, it's a walleye. It's a walleye, Kevin. Little itty bitty walleye. What do you think about that, Kevin? Haha, uh -huh. here, watch this. Watch this. Haha. <laughs> Is that pretty cool or what? Huh? As you guys know, I'm like basically never home. I'm just always out fishing or camping. So I'm basically just traveling from like camp spot to camp spot. So I'm never really home to like recharge all of my stuff. So I happen to get myself a solar panel with this thing. It's very simple. I actually thought it was gonna be a little bit harder to do, but all you have to do is set up your solar panels. Uh, they come with a nice little stand to the solar panel. So you're not just laying it on the snow. And yeah, hook it up, let it charge for a little bit and you're basically good to go. As you can see right here, we got these little U batteries, they call them. We got one right here, and we got one right here. All you do is push in and out. So these U batteries are actually compatible with all the other electronical appliances from Lifely. They got like paint sprayers and screw guns, and they actually sent me a little like vacuum that I've actually been using a ton back at the Fish and More headquarters. Another cool thing about the U batteries is they all have USB-C ports, and you can actually charge your iPhones straight from this. I think it is really sweet that they have these two here. That makes things so convenient and easy. Just one more thing I want to mention. With a smart battery management system and pure sine wave inverter, the B600 extends battery service life and ensures safety and stability via overheating protection and abnormality alarm. This thing fully recharges in six hours and it puts out about 1200 watts of peak performance. One more time, the hugest shout out to Lifely for sponsoring this video. Uh, this thing's really gonna come in handy. I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to Lifely down below in my description, and if you guys wanna check it out, you can do so. But without further ado, let's uh, try to catch some fish. Kevin looks like she's having some fun. I can't believe I just got a walleye a little bit ago. Um, JR's Corner actually told me that uh, I probably wouldn't be catching any walleyes out here. Supposedly, it's like mainly crappies. But anyways, stay tuned. Let's have some fun. Kevin, you wanna go outside? Whoa, look at that. A little time check. It is 4.57. I'd say we got about half an hour of sunlight left. You're probably wondering why I don't have a second line down yet. That's because uh, JR mentioned that I probably ain't even gonna catch fish till like sunlight or till the till dark. Apparently the hot bite right now is from 8 p.m. to like 4 or 5 in the morning. So yeah, probably gonna stay up like all night tonight and sleep all day tomorrow. Got the old boots on because look at this. What do you think about that? Holy shoot. I should back my truck up. That was not like that when I pulled. When I pulled up. I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> the fish house is sinking. That's crazy. Kevin, no. Here, come on. Come on, Kev. I don't want you getting all wet. Come Dude, on. that's not good. Holy crap. Glad I came and checked things out. It's not good. Freaking suck for this all to freeze and my tires get stuck in the ice or something. We're gonna pull just right over here. Well, one good thing, it's almost dark out. So I don't think it's gonna get much warmer than it already is, but we will grab Kevin's food dishes and stuff. This is crazy. You could probably, if you scroll back to when I pulled up to this fish house, it was not like this. I mean, it was water like this, but it wasn't until like right here. And it was only like a half an inch. This is like four inches now. 
hopefully we don't sink. Hey Gab, you mad at me? Cause I kicked you out, kicked you in? Uh, yeah, oh, you want your food? You want some food and water? Oh, let me get that bottle dab out of there. There you go. Hey, you want some water? Do you have to lick where I'm gonna drink from? Ooh. It's cold out there once you stand out there for a second. All right, we're putting the cracks back on once again. Uh, most likely, we're probably not going to get much bites until dark out, so hang in there. I might cook some brats soon here, or like right at dark just to get the night going, you know? It would be so cool to catch some big crappies tonight. Like, be about the coolest thing ever. I suppose we could probably grab ourselves a fishing rod or two. We're going to go with this one for sure. And let's roll with like this. Might as well grab this one too, just for good luck. Kev, did you already eat up all that food? Holy fuck it, Kev. There's some more for you. Obviously, y'all, we're going to be starting out with the old fishing more minnow. I want a glow one, though. I want some Wonder Bread. I want straight glow. Yeah. That's that juice right there. I am also going to tie up a little jig on one rod, and then I might even do a bobber rod or something like that for another rod. Like, come on. Does it get much sexier than that? Get this dialed? I don't even know how deep I am right now. 12 feet. Are you having fun, Kev? Hey, come here. Come on. Come here with daddy. Woof. 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 Come on. Wow, I'm sitting here messing with my cone angle, trying to get this thing dialed. Frick, look at this. Might be a perch. Here we go. All right, we're cooling. There's fish down there. Okay, so this is me. That's a fish. Hopefully you can see that. It's coming right up to me right now. I'm thinking it's a perch though, because it hasn't bitten me. And I feel like if it was a crappie, it'd for sure, I think it just hit me. I think it's just a baby little perch. All right, we got two rods dialed. It's almost dark. Next scene is either going to be me cooking brats for me and Kevin, or hopefully it's gonna be catching fish. We are getting all artsy, y'all. Got the old hummingbird set up on a crate. What do you think, Kev? You're probably going to hear me say that a hundred times. What do you think, Kev? Me and Kevy are just chilling. I already took off the fish and more minnow and put on just a tiny little... Uh, it's like a little Euro tackle uh, tea flasher. Just because the sun just went down, just now getting dark. It's pretty much prime time walleye. It's like walleye I'm all ear. I might as well try to catch some right at sunset. But yeah, just kicking it. I'm getting hungry. You getting hungry? Yeah? Should we cook some brats soon? Boof. 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 Go Oh, weird. <laughs> oh, no, Kevin. Freaking pulled the minnow right off. That was weird. I was sitting here messing with Kevin. See, Kev, when this bobber goes down and this makes a noise, that means we, we got a fish on. And then you get to lick it once we catch it. This thing definitely just got whacked. Is it just sitting there with it? Oh, there we go. No! Minnow's still there. Let that sit for another minute, then we'll check it. Dude, that's two in a row now, Kev. Holding here. Yeah. Whoa. Some of my bottles? 
I'll be fine once I eat it. Okay, do you think we can keep this one pinned? Did he just drop it? No fooling. He dropped it. I was just about to feel for him, and I, like, felt the middle go pluck right back. <sighs> That's so frustrating. Uh oh. It looks aggressive, but small. I'm like grabbing the fish and warm minnow. Let's do both of them at the same time. Let's see if this is possible. Okay, now let's reel up this one. The old switcheroo. It's still down there. Got it. Fish and more minnow. Oh, pfft. that's why. It's a little wally. Dang, I kind of thought that was going to be a crappy. Not even capping. Hey, that's... Dudes! This is the first ever, legit, this is the first ever walleye cotton on a fish and more minnow. <laughs> Gavin, what do you think about that? Eh? Dude, that was sick on the old freaking light action rod. Well, let him go. Let him go. You know, it kind of makes sense now why I've been missing so many on the rattle rail. They're, they're probably about that size. All right, get this thing glowed up. Let's get it back down there. No, come back. I think this is a walleye. Yeah, the walleye. There's three walleyes on my screen right there. Oh, he came off. And he's gone. Let's get down there, see if we can catch another one. Holy cray. Crapes. Holy crapes. Yo, that was like a 17, 18 inch walleye on the Vision More Minnow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Got him. And feeling like a walleye. Definitely a walleye. Man, they're snapping. That's just another little guy. You want to give him a kiss, Kevin? Or no? He just wants to see him swim away, huh? Oh, yeah. What do you think about that, huh? Is that pretty cool? No, it's not cool. <laughs> Little time check, yo. Currently 7 o'clock. I'm getting hungry. I'm going to put on the boots, go get my cooler, and cook up some brats. Because that's all I got with this out here. Hey, this is all kind of freezing. It's still like a lake out here. Kevin, why don't you go potty? Go potty. Let's hope these suckers aren't frozen. Oh, they're perfect. Today on the menu, we got some more uh, awesome brats from this place right by my house. It's called the Barbecue Smokehouse. We got Swiss cheese brats. Bussin' Swiss cheese brats. We get a pan, boil some water, and yeah, I'm gonna cook up two of these suckers. Well, don't have a lighter, but I do have matches. Alright, stay tuned. Once that's boiling, we only have to boil for like eight minutes. And yeah, I'm just gonna fry them up for a little bit and get a little brown on them. Wieners are done. Well, just about done.
We're just gonna church them up a little bit. Get a little brown on there. Put the graph cam down. Burr. It's instantly cold in here. I put the graph cam down though and just haven't marked a single fish since. Kev, you done? Come on. Come on. Alright. Let's get some brats going. Ooh, a couple brats. Some funions. Up to smash. Here, we'll give you a little, little taste test. It's really hot. But yeah, that's good. One piece. It's hot. Update, y'all. It is currently 7.49. Just got done housing those glizzies. And my camera died. And I haven't marked a fish in the past freaking hour and a half. So... I decided to take out the fish and more minnow, and I just got a little bobber set up with a minnow. Because I definitely got way more bites on that rattle reel, so I basically just put the exact same setup down here. And yeah, took the battery out of the camera, and I got both of them charging on the Lifely. Anyway, stay tuned. We're definitely winding down a little bit. Uh, it's probably going to be a really quiet night. Me and Kevin are just basically going to be hanging out, just hoping and praying for... At the very least, one crappie. We gotta get one crappie tonight. I'm also gonna try my best to stay awake. Lately, it's pretty hard for me to stay up past even like 10 o'clock, but I knew I was coming here today. I slept in this morning, so hopefully we can stay up pretty late. Actually, you know, it'd be cool if we just hammered some like soon here so we could just sleep tonight. All right, back to music. Stay tuned. And yeah, tell you what, these pajamas have been around. Now what, Kevin? Should we go hang out? Come on. Hi. Man, it's going to be hard to stay up till four in the morning. <laughs> Tired already. Oh my God. Oh my God. No way. No way. Oh, I had one. That's a good sign, Kevin. <laughs> what was that? Pop her down. God. What is this? What is this? Please be a copy. Another one? Where are the crappies? Kevin, can you believe this? Update, y'all. Whoa, I'm marking. Holy buckets. I was just about to give you guys a little update. And I'm marking. Me and Kev are just over here chilling. Decided to hook up the laptop to the old Lifely. And yeah, we're sitting here chilling. Watching Rocky. And yeah, switch back to the fish and more minnow. And I've marked like three fish the past 20 minutes. So hoping we can get one. Can we get a little time check? Easy to let. Holy buckets. It's 1144. You could pretty much say it is prime time for the crappies. Stay tuned. I was really tired. That's why I turned on a movie. Just so that I'd get up and do something. But yeah, we're going to keep jigging. Stay up as late as we can. Stay tuned. Hopefully next scene is a crappie. I've gotten enough walleyes. We don't need any more walleyes. Oh, ho, ho. Look at my boy Rocky. Oh, Kevin, they're kissing. Talk about an absolute heater of a movie. Ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba. I'm gonna go potty. We're bad. Okay, y'all. I close this hole.
pulled the graph, pulled this hole, and got a rail, rattle reel set up. Come on. I haven't had a bite the past two, three hours, or even, like, marked very many fish, so... I'm gonna go to bed. Hopefully, hopefully I wake up to a crappie on the rattle reel or something. That'd be cool. Anyway, stay tuned. Unfortunately, I'm about to go outside and pee. I gotta pee before bed. Night. If I catch a fish, I'll break out the camera and show you guys. Also, one more thing. In case you guys are curious, it is just about quarter to two. I also unplugged my laptop and put that away just to cons just to conserve battery power on this thing. Not bad, though. I just watched a full movie, and we got 73%. I've also been charging my phone, and I completely charged those batteries since I've been out here. So, pretty good. Hey, for bed. Little cutie. This is for sure gonna be a walleye. This one's gone too. Please be a crappy. Oh, why? Please be a crappie. Oh my god, come on. Freaking dinkers. <sighs> Get this rig back up. Let's <sighs> be sun up. I think I'm gonna go back to bed for a little bit though. Oh, cow. Hey, Cal. Calvin. Calvin, we got a we got a rattle reel. What time is it? Oh, we got a double rattle reel. Holy crap. All the rattle reels are going off. Got him? Walleye? Talk to me. You want to hear the good news or the bad news first? The bad. No crappies. They good? I caught like 15 walleyes. <laughs> okay. Well, we're okay. <laughs> yeah, we got something. Well, y'all. I think on that note, I think we're going to check this episode up here. Unfortunately, we did not luck out and catch a crappie. It kind of sucks, but fortunately, we did catch a pretty good amount of walleyes. But this episode wasn't really about catching fish. This episode was more so about just coming out here and hanging out with Kevy. Hey, Kevy, did you have a good time? I really think Kevin had a good time. She's been, like, awesome out here, by the way. She pretty much just follows me everywhere. I get up, catch a fish. She follows me to catch a fish. I lay down, she comes and lays down. Anyways, y'all, I really hope y'all enjoyed today's episode. One more time, I gotta give the biggest shout-out to Lifely for uh, sponsoring this video. I'm gonna be leaving all their stuff linked down below in my description. I'll probably even drop it down in the comments, too, if you guys wanna check it out. And also, go leave a comment down below. YouTube likes a ton of comments and interaction and likes so the more comments y'all leave the more youtube likes to push out my videos anyways love y'all stay tuned for next video probably just be in a few days here yeah peace